Is this Sparta? No, it's madness! Blue Green Madness! Welcome to the Pauper Gauntlet. It's time for Blue Green Madness to play in the third round of the Pauper Gauntlet. And let's do it! Blue Green Madness lost in the first round. Bat managed to recoup that. No, he won in the first round against Demir Cypher. Then we lost against Hexproof, which should generally be a horrible matchup. This build is by O3, and several people have mentioned that this is the best build of Blue Green Madness they've seen. Really good build. So let's win with it. <laughs> okay, I think in this spot we play the Rootwala. Or do we? Or do we play the days? But we don't want days into zero mana. So I think we actually play the root wall and then play the Aquamoba. And go from there. We're playing against Fabian. Fabian. Oh, it's goblins. I feel then that Aqua Moeba should be extremely good. Uh, let's pump him if we uh, have to. But he will never block here. Threat of activation. And this is one of those few times. I think it is Aqua Moeba over Mongrel and then we can play Mongrel Logic next turn. But that would require us to have something in our graveyard. And I have no idea what that would be. But Equamoeba should make a great blocker here. Dazing something is probably a disaster, isn't it? But it's tempting. Including Daze in this deck I think was brilliant. So if it makes a 3 1, like, what? I can't really block it with Akuma, but can I? Or should I? <sighs> do I, don't I just take 4 here? Or do I actually daze the hammer hand? Try that. It leaves him without being able to do damage to me. Is that even Goblin? No, it's a Satyr, so... Sort of a heroic deck then. And then we do the same thing again. Leaving up circular logic seems wrong. Yes, I think we have to play the mongrel. As we can't counter anything with Circle of because we have no cards in the graveyard. That is coffee in the background. We'll get me even more hyper. Blue Green Madness. Now Nyx Monroliker looks fairly stupid as a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. I could discard to say Mongrel. That's a really hard question if I would want to do that. Against the Bolt, for example. Would I get rid of two forests just to have the Mongrel? And then power up the logic. Seems good, but then I'm gonna draw an arrogant worm and hate myself. So I'm not sure. I hope I don't get to make the decision. Next turn I can swing with the root wall and the mongrel, keep up logic. Yeah. 
Here they come. Or not. They do come. So I block, I guess. Or do I block or do I not block? Until I can logic next turn. I'll block that guy. That's what I'm blocking. Now we can brute force or whatever it's called. I don't want to lose both my madness outlets. Trumpet blast. Yeah, Titan strength. Targeting Aquamweb. <laughs> uh oh. Whoops. Aquamweb becomes, becomes a 4 4. Whoops. That's not what he wanted to do. Hi, Negator. Negator started watching. Whoops. Crap. Haha. <laughs> yeah, fairly important. And we move into the second duel. Okay, let's think of this as goblins. Then we take out a snap. Take out the deep analysis. Bring in two moments, please. Because we don't use hydroblasts and stuff like that. Conventional crap. Okay, Fabian. Blue Green Madness would be happy to be in uh, round four. That's lacking some tier one decks that have already been eliminated. Did that make you curious? You have to watch all the videos. Sorry. No, I'm gonna summarize round three and on MTG Library's blog when it's done. I'm also gonna spoil the outcome in the uh, standard popper show. This is a mulligan. And this is not. So I'm gonna get the blue mana. No, I'm gonna play a Rootwalla, then get the blue mana. Because I think the Rootwalla could be an excellent block. I have no madness outlet. And I'm facing a Satter Hoplite who can get huge, and I've cybered out my snap, but I have more snaps. Maybe my sideboarding was wrong. Of course, you didn't have mono red heroic in the sideboard plan. No. Uh, that's the days. That seems like a really long. But we could day something. But he will still be a 2 2. No, I'm gonna play the Rootwala. But now I'm falling behind. This could get hard. Yeah, now we have a 3 3 that can't be blocked. This turn. Okay, I should not cyber out snap. I'm gonna improvise here. I'm gonna take out a careful study instead, I think. So I play the second root wallet. No, I think I need that. Hmm. No, I think I'm playing it. But that's a lot of damage coming my way. And it's two turns until I can draw some cards and take damage. So this is going to hurt. I can also keep up a root while I'm trying to block. But that will probably not work out very well. I think. Mm, coffee is done. He's being slow, I'm getting coffee.
This is Sparta. No, this is madness. Who the hell are you? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, that doesn't trigger it. It doesn't trigger the heroic. But uh, that's a small consolation. Are we giving up a root holder here to prevent 5 damage? That feels wrong. No, I'm gonna take it. Mongrel is the one who will stand up and try to kill him. Yes, I'm taking 5. Taking 5 to the face. Oh, hot coffee! Ah, burns! Burns like a red burn deck. <coughs> yeah. Blue mana. I'm gonna go get blue mana. At your end step. Blue mana? Yes. Okay, I'm in business. Hmm. Okay, these guys still attack because they know nothing else. And I feign a circle of logic. I can get rid of the deep analysis. A day source case. But this is just gonna end with the wild mongrel dying. He bolts the wild mongrel. I'm not gonna have that, so I'm gonna discard. And discard the days. I'll become red. And then I'll become green. Yeah, green mongrel. Deep analysis in the graveyard should do work. But what about this worm I want to play? Can I can I go that low? I have to play this worm, right? Damn it. I can't discard it without madness. Now I'm gonna have to take it. Okay, now it's now we're on the worm plan. What if we can deal with the worm? We block with the mongrel, play the worm. Yes, that's what we do. Nine feels very unsafe. So then he needs to deal with the mongrel and the worm with his three cards. Oh. That's not any good. And now if I block with the worm, he's a 5-5. Five five. Jesus, but how much damage can I do? 4 plus 3 plus 3. I could do 11. Leave one root while I back to jump block next turn. Take five here. Now that can't be the right solution. So still block. I can't block with the monger. Have to block with the worm. 
I can't take five here. That's death. So what if I resolve the worm now and then he'll maybe he'll I'll do that because then he can choose wrong so I get to keep the worm otherwise I have to block with the worm So you should choose mongrel of course but because I want to block with the mongrel Deep analysis doesn't feel that good in this matchup Moments piece would feel amazing here That would win me the game What are we waiting for Fabian? Should I make more Sparta jokes? Probably not. Check out Fan of History, The Legends of Sparta, my most recent published video. I'm going deep on Sparta. I read so much. Legends of Sparta is about the foundation of Sparta. Then we're going to talk about life in Sparta. Cast it! And now it's up to you, sir. To see what you do. Who is not allowed to block? The other one is blocking. Yes, and he chooses the worm. That's great, because I get to keep the worm. That was the whole plan. And Mongrel, of course, is dead now. He's dead to me. I wish I could get to 5 power, but I can't, so... Okay, hit him for 7. Hit him for 7, block with the root wall, but what if he has anything? I think that's my route to victory. He's a 5-5. Five five. I can block him with... No. I have to be aggressive here. I feel. Yes. Getting him to 8. But now I'm living dangerously. Very dangerously. But he doesn't attack. That felt like he was giving up the game. Because now if I have time to do stuff... This is pretty dangerous too. Does he have two bolts? We already seen a bolt, so it's very unlikely. Ouch! Could have counted that. No, I couldn't. Um, wow, double pyroblast. Well, we have the same situation again, so I can get through six damage. Now I have nothing in my graveyard. Where do we go from here? More milk in the coffee. Fuhrer of the Bitten. So now he has to attack. But that's, that's super bad, isn't it? Isn't that exactly what I wanted? 
So now we 8 8, but can I give him trample somehow? This feels like an automatic win for me. What's that about? He doesn't have trample. So I just need to swing, protect the root voila. And swing with arrogant worm two times. But he can out tempo me here. So I'm gonna play the werebear because one of them will be able to block. Then he has to play a blocker and he also has to deal with at least one of my creatures. Madness made it to round four. Many decks did not. But Blue Green Madness did. Shout out to Orc Tree for brewing this deck. Thank you for watching.